Hello all, uh, in this video, we are gonna go over how to apply permissions on the integration services catalog uh, when you are working in the corporate environment and you have thousands of folders or hundreds of folders, then it becomes pretty cumbersome to apply to individual level. So here I designed a script which can be used when you have like, you know, permissions groups out there. Suppose you have read group, operator group, execute group at the integration services catalog level. So normally what happens, you go in the properties of SSIS DB in under the integration services catalog, and you will have like several folders out there. So uh, what is integration services catalog for those who are not familiar with this here, we deploy like, you know, SSIS packages, which are integration services packages, and they are arranged under the folders under SSIS DB. So um, let's cut the cheese and get right to the script. So what I'm doing in the first step is, is to create the login for that group here because this is my personal computer. So I don't have the AD setup. So that's why I'm using like, you know, SQL authentication user. But in your case, when you're working in corporate environments, you prefer or preferred method by Microsoft is to assign permissions through the AD groups. So when you are assigning permissions through the AD groups, so in this case, you will be creating um, new group, suppose whatever your server name is, execute group, then read group, then write group. So you create a login, you create a user for the SSIS DB database. So there's another, there's a database called SSIS DB under the databases section, and also under integration services catalog, you have SSIS DB catalog. So what we're doing in here, so I declared three um, variables, number of path folders, folder ID, principal ID, number of folders is to keep count of how many folders we have to iterate our script through. Folder ID is the current folder on which we are working on, and principal ID is the group or the user to which we have to assign the permission to. So this per scripts you can use for assigning permission to a folder, which can again be used to group all the members uh, together who need like similar kind of access to that particular folder. Like suppose I have a, a folder over here for ETL jobs and I want to give read permissions to the users so I can have the read group out there and then assign those users as members under the AD group read. So everybody who is part of that read group will be assigned read permissions on the SSIS catalog folder. And underneath there are different projects and packages. They will be able to you know, work on those packages and will be able to access it. So in this uh, example, in this script, we are specifically looking for the execute permissions in which I'm assigning read read objects and execute objects. So then uh, what I'm doing over here, I'm trying to find the principal ID for the group or user, which I want to assign permission to. In order to do that, we have to uh, query the database principles. Then we, uh, you know, provide the name of the group or the user uh, where we're filtering by the name. So once we have that, we assign that to the variable principal ID. So now this principal ID will have the principal ID of the group or user to which you want to assign the permissions. So then we are printing that out to make sure we're testing it out. So in your um, production scripts, you can basically comment it out or remove it completely. Then I'm querying the internal folders table here. I'm trying to find number of folders are there in the SSIS TV catalog. So it will list all the current folders or existing folders out there in the SSIS DB catalog. So we can have these scripts select and drop, which will be handy if you are running it manually. But if you have, uh, if you are running through the SQL agent or some other uh, automation mechanism, then you don't need this. You can just have this script and you can basically have the drop table in, at the end of the script to make sure uh, you are not you're, you know, pertaining the folders temporary table. Then to populate the number of folders, 
variable, what I'm doing, I'm creating the folder temporary table and counting the number of rows in it. So that gives me how many folders to which I have to apply the permissions. Then I'm looping through number of folders until it is written zero. Under the loop, I'm setting folder ID equal to top one. So I'm querying or selecting the folders out of the folder temporary table by the ascending order. So that every time I you know, arrange or order by ascending order and pick the top one. So that will make sure I'm not repeating or picking the same folder again and again. So that's why it is needed. And I'm putting that folder ID into the folder ID variable so that we can work on it. Now these three execute permissions. So there is a grant permission procedure under the SSIS DB catalog. So which helps to assign permissions to the folder. So object ID one is for folder, the object ID two for package, object ID three for something else. So you can figure that out. You can look into it in MSDN. Then I'm here under the object ID parameter, I'm passing in the folder ID, so which I filled up over here. And then principal ID is the group ID or the user ID to which we want to assign the permissions. And here three permissions are, permission type one is for read, permission type uh, 103 is for read objects and permission type 101 is for execute objects. Then I'm deleting the current folder ID from the folders temporary table so that I don't pick that up again and I'm setting number of folders to uh, minus one. So basically if I have 10 folders, now I'm reducing it to nine, then the while group will check number of folders. It will again loop through, we'll pick up the top one because we already deleted the previous one. Now we will pick a new one. Then again, this loop will continue until we are having number of folders parameter more than zero. So this will help you to automate the permissions for the integration services catalog. I'm gonna provide the script um, in the description section of this video. So don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon. Thank you.